Prophet is uh, neo soul R&B uh, with hip hop elements uh, and jazz elements. Uh, I sing songs in English, Amharic, and Tigrinya, which are two languages from Ethiopia and Eritrea. Uh, all my music is produced by my wife, Sun Sun. Um, and when we are performing live, it's the two of us and our drummer and our guitar player. I love all music genres, but most specifically uh, Erica Badu, um, Lauren Hill, uh, Nina Simone, Bob Marley. Who, who inspires you when um, you make the beats? Portishead, Tricky, Travis Scott, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Drake yeah. inspires me. <laughs> yeah. Well, the number one thing was that I wasn't getting approached by any labels whatsoever. Um, and I figured I could do it myself. That's Instead right. of, yes. You want to be able to own all our own yeah, stuff. Yeah, I want to own my masters. I want to have control of my music, have control of my artistic um, creativity. Uh, I mean, it's still hard. I would never say no if a label came and was like, we want to help. <laughs> I'd be like, thank God. But uh, it, it was to take power on to, for our career to continue because I couldn't keep waiting around for other people. It also helps because in um, Canada we get uh, grants uh, for music, government grants and things. So as a label, we can apply for things and, and better than as an individual artist. Heart Lake Records is a, a women-owned queer run uh, label. It's owned by myself and Sun Sun. Um, we release uh, and support music from uh, artists in the LGBTQ spectrum, um, mostly women identified, but really anybody. Uh, we're open to anybody, but that's our focus. Uh, we focus on hip hop and R&B. Uh, I'm which prophet is signed to it. Sun Sun is signed to it. Our other band that we have called ATS is signed to it. Uh, and then we have a non-binary rapper by the name of Yazi, uh, a Muslim rapper uh, who is signed as well. Um, yeah, we we started in. We've been doing music and releasing songs and different things for a long time, over 15 years. Uh, but we were going under the name 88 Days of Fortune, and then we changed to Heart Lake Records two years ago. It's definitely important. I'm pretty sure we're the only queer women-run owned label in all of Canada. Um, so it's important to take up space, to speak about who you are, to be sort of like respected as a woman in music. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hard. <laughs> People are always looking for the guy to talk yeah, they, to. Yeah, it's hard. Sound, even doing the sound, they're like, where's the guy? Or, you know, yeah. I'm like, Hi, I'm the guy, what's up? Tell me, <laughs> yeah. you know, so it's like... Yeah. So uh, it's important to take up space because it's important for women and, and queer people and black people and people of color to be seen on the forefront of uh, not just the artist, you know, doing the business, mm -hmm. knowing what's happening. Um, and to inspire yeah. other people yeah. like us to do the same. Yeah, who could you know? look and be like, oh, if they can do oh, it, maybe I can guys. do it. Oh, it's not guys. Okay, yeah, I can do something. Yeah. I can get that computer. I can do stuff. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. be more active, proactive. Yeah. Our whole life is creative always, so it's really, the creative part is very easy. The admin stuff is just emails and banking things <laughs> and like <laughs> contracts that are already written out, so it's not that hard. But we've set up our live. We moved uh, outside of the city in Toronto into the country a bit more, and we set up our house like you're at an artist retreat. So yeah. we're always in creative mode, yeah. kind of. Yeah. Which Prophet is, I was given that name by my friend. Um, I used to go by Ayo Leilani as my singer name. Um, and uh, I would always give like tarot card readings or like psychic readings for my friends. And any time I gave a reading, my friend would always say, oh, thank you so much, Witch Prophet. I love this, Witch Prophet. And so I was like, I really like that name. It sounds powerful and uh, good, so... Uh, I kept it. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this and use it as my music name too. Yeah. It really helped her come into who she is once she was given the name. I yeah. Feel like. Yeah. Because I feel like when you pick your own name as a musician, it's like, mm -hmm. but when like when somebody gives you a nickname, if you have a nickname, it's like it it sticks more. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah totally. It does influence me. I I am, I consider myself to be a psychic. Um, I have very strong dreams that show me prophetic dreams. Um, 
also as some um, I have uh, seizures so my seizures are different they're not like shaking seizures they're uh, esoteric spiritual things so it's a lot of déjà rev a lot of déjà vu um, feeling like I'm out of body experiences things like that so I've always been into magic and other spiritual whatever it is trying to tap into it so when I got the name Witch Prophet I felt really connected to it because it was like uh, I, I was doing all these magic things and not claiming like she's a witch. that I'm you know a witch <laughs> yeah <laughs> until yeah, yeah. we're witches it, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's why <laughs> so until somebody was like you witch and prophet she not has just prophetic witch. dreams yeah. that's why yeah, that's why I have I think uh, having another personality that's kind of separate from your everyday day-to-day -day life is, is easier to tap into music when I'm like, okay, now I'm going to put my sunglasses on, I'm witch prophet, so I'm not going to be scared, I'm not going to be nervous when I'm doing my things because this is like the costume, right? I'm still always witch prophet without it because I, I still am magical, I'm still psychic, but when it comes to the music, it's more of a, it, it helps me focus better. The name really helped her become who she is and help me understand, because I'm the producer, how to produce her music. So it helped us focus who she, who, who and what she is yeah. once we got the name. Mm -hmm. And it was given to us by yeah. one of our friends. <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a time, I'm a time, I'm a time.